There's a new play to earn cryptocurrency project that is focused about AI or artificial intelligence, but they're monetizing your gameplay. But it's not one of those weird, creepy, secret things like Facebook does to us. No, like they let you know and you're rewarded with their token in exchange for playing their games, using their platform, you can stake the coin. A lot of things that play here. One thing I'm really excited about is the fact that this is on the Solana blockchain, not all the other blockchains that often are really just not that great, don't have the best user base, or their fees are too high, or a combination of all of those. My name is Vasco on the Vasco on YouTube channel. Today we're going to dive into a new crypto token review, but first, don't forget to slap that subscribe button because Vasco is home of Tails, our resident Shibi DBR Doji Woji. Let's jump into it. I'm gonna tell you one time and one time only, this is not financial advice. So, so let's go ahead and jump into it so I don't lose my place. Let's go up here. And so how video games can be used to generate AI training data. And furthermore, from a crypto user and investor point of view, how can we make money with that, right? You know, who's gonna do that and, and how can that be monetized and how can you know, we basically get a piece of the pie? All right, so I'm a huge gamer, huge nerd, but Pokemon Arceus, I personally think, has been an absolute blast. Uh, it's so cool. Open world Pokemon, it's all I ever dreamed of as a kid. So, here's the deal though, right? So, AIs, data, play to earn, play to learn. Interesting concepts. And as we explore new ways to monetize the gaming experience. So, colleagues testing two games, endless runner type, and then also a puzzle matching type. And from here... Basically, players solve problems at their own pace. All this becomes data, it can, and it feeds an AI, artificial intelligence. More data is basically better AI, as long as the data is good. Building on this whole play-to-earn plus AI concept is going to be Synesis One, a platform that is founded by Mind AI CEO Paul Lee, he aims to develop games that, on the back end, create data sets to train AI. According to Lee. Synesis One, which reportedly raised $9.5 million in an ICL or initial coin offering just a few months ago, will be used to bolster some of the natural language models that Mind AI, or AI as a service provider, already offers to customers. And they also made today's video possible. And they are working on launching Quantum Gnosis. And how can you say no to a playable graphic novel if it integrates NFTs and play to earn gaming concepts. I'm not saying that's 100% for sure here, but I think there's something interesting going on here, right? And one of the first things I find interesting the second I open up their page is gonna be the fact that this is powered by Solana. It's on the Solana blockchain. Then, how to get started making money on Solana. You need to set up the Phantom Wallet. So with the Phantom Wallet, it's like MetaMask, but for Solana, and it's also much better than MetaMask. So I'll drop those videos referencing that stuff down in the video description below. I don't want to clog this up with the uh, tutorial content, right? Uh, but you'll see that if you want to do anything here, right? So you can stake this coin, earn 30% annual interest. Like, okay, that's interesting, right? But again, you got to have Phantom set up and you got to have some coins in there. So let's say I want to get started. I want to connect. I unlock my Phantom wallet. I'm surprised I typed the password right. I always get it wrong first time, you know, <laughs> just get some dents or something <laughs> no i type i think i type too fast and i i, I mess up my i don't know one of my hands must be better than the other one who knows maybe i'm stroking out here and I'm, my, my right hand's going downhill fast but hey we live we die begin and then there's ending whatever we're just trying to have fun in between so with this we can stake some coins but we need coins to be able to stake right so I, i'll put my max balance but i don't have any coins so normally they give you some kind of entry point, right? So I'm right here, right on the homepage, it says swap SNS with USDC on Radium. Well, what's a Radium, right? So Radium, an on-chain order book, AMM automated market maker, powering the evolution of a DeFi. Key point here though, is that it's on the Solana blockchain. So we go over there, we connect our wallet, and then we switch to whatever coin we wanna trade. For example, Solana, right? And then let's say I want some SNS. So add the token and I'll click it. Understand. Oh, <laughs> I clicked the wrong one. Let's try again. I understand. That, that's dirty. I'm, that, you know that we want that to be over there, but whatever. We click it. We click confirm. We wait. We get bored. We think it's not working. We click it again. 
And then, it we, we get, and then we just start clicking like crazy. And eventually, you know, like a complaining customer, you get your way. So we'll do a little test transaction, right? 0.01 Sol Solana. It's not much, but it's honest work. And there's clearly a liquidity pairing here of USDC and SNS. That's why the Solana or Sol is routing through USDC to SNS. So we need to set that up. We'll go ahead and approve the transaction. Basically, we're going to be wrapping the Solana in this case, right? Due to limits on Solana transaction sizes, this step is required to create wrapped Sol in your wallet before swapping. So that has been created. And from that point, we go ahead and approve the transaction and we'll get the coins that we want. And so Radium is a great tool here and it's not an AMM that I personally use a ton. I've previously mentioned Step Finance before. I think it's a really cool tool, right? So I can come in here and, and connect my wallet. And my favorite part about this, you get a dashboard, you get a readout of, you know, what you have in your wallet, your coins, you know, what I'm yield farming with and you know how these numbers break down, my pending rewards. It's really cool stuff. If you're into NFTs, you get an NFT gallery. You know you can stake their stuff and all that but what they are is an amm an automated market maker a decentralized exchange but also a dex a dx right a de decentralized exchange aggregator so let's just say you know i want to take some solana and let's see if we can find some sns so we can see the sns pulls up here and let's go ahead and put in 0.01 and let's see what kind of readout we get on this. So unfortunately with their current routing that they have input into their system, they're not pulling up SNS. So I think they have an area to improve here though, if they add radium to the decentralized exchanges that they are crawling, then that would be possible. Just to double check, right, we'll go ahead and put in some USDC, and you know, because there was that order routing issue on the previous uh, exchange, nothing's happening here. So that's really not gonna get it done for us. But I think, the reason I bring this up, especially is people who are interested in valuations, right? So we see Radium, and if we look at it as a Solana decentralized exchange or AMM, right? It's worth a quarter of a billion dollars, almost two hundred, almost two hundred fifty thousand or two hundred fifty million dollars, two hundred forty-three million dollars market cap right now. If we compare that to Step Finance, weighing in at a whopping twenty-six million dollars, right? You know, we're looking for the ten X things like that. It's a lot easier to go from twenty-six to a quarter million dollars than it is for radium to 10x per se, right? And look, I'm not hating or, or hyping up shilling any of these. I just think this, this stuff's really fun, interesting to break down. And I think that the Solana ecosystem is really just, you know, just beginning to be interesting and start having projects built out and, you know, start to bloom, right? So let's bring it back to the, the staking, right? So we've got the coins now. Let's go ahead and refresh. We'll select our wallet, Mr. Phantom in the building. And then we see it already populates. We hit max or, you know, whatever you want to do. We approve the staking. And then from there, we will now enter the staking pool. We approve that second transaction. And three, two. What you'll see is Solana is very cheap. It's very fast as long as it's online, which is most of the time. It's definitely most of the time. They are also opening up a whole different world of farming, right? Forget normal yield farming on exchanges, right? We got data yield farming. Data yield farmers are ontology miners to join the ecosystem to provide quality data for Mr. AI. Participants are rewarded by submitting their knowledge about the various topics to participate and earn. You need to stake their governance token, SNS, or their NFT. Canon, which I'll talk about that here shortly, but stake, contribute, earn. This is all coming soon though. If you want to get in on the uh, beta tester waitlist, well, it's right on their main site. And you'll be able to navigate that with just my main link to that down in the video description below because I'm sick of dropping 29 freaking links down there. It gets old and you're probably sick of seeing that many. <laughs> so, with all that said, a key thing to note here though about staking is that you're locked up for three weeks once you enter that stake. So you can unstake and claim your reward. It's not auto compounding, things like that. So you can unstake and claim your reward after three weeks. We see TVL right now, just over $200,000. And again, the APR is sitting here at 30% right now. So real easy, real simple, real straightforward. I said we we're gonna talk about Canon, so let's talk about the Canon.exchange. So for, first off, right, what, what is it? The Canon.exchange is an NFT marketplace, right? It's a native marketplace NFT minting platform for Synesis One ecosystem. Canon NFT 
ontology primitive fractal ownership unit of the web3 data utility being okay you get the point right so nfts and all that stuff uh so it's an nft exchange it's an nft marketplace free uh, to list here transactions have a 2.5 percent fee and um you know from here the creators will be paid immediately according to the nfts data they honor royalty fees um canon does not support ethereum nfts only solana focused right now um for canon they only support nfts created within the synthesis one ecosystem but they may change that or you know after that in the future you can mint nfts on on the canon exchange right and so if we go over to their mint page we can see that the aquarius collection was minted out of here unfortunately if you're interested this collection has already been minted but it's a marketplace there will be more mints and nfts and collections and things like that coming soon or coming eventually here is what probably piques my interest the most right solve puzzles earn rewards a game by synesis one what, what what is that quantum gnosis and you know it's looking techy it's looking a little you know like the controllers i forget what they're called the peacekeepers in the hunger games but then you know we got mech suits showing up and all that stuff but it claims to be the world's first nft based graphic novel and so this is what it will actually be more realistic uh you know what it looks like here but again the key thing that's interesting here is you know play it earn rewards play to earn is just it, it's so exciting and, and it's just gonna be huge I don't know how anyone can just even try to deny that. Breaking open their white paper, we can see that Synesis 1 is a Web3 data utility and NFT marketplace for AI. It's the symbiosis of the Synesis DAO and can an exchange powered by their governance token, Synesis, a semi-fungible data token, Canon. What? Yep. That's how it reads, I guess. So Synesis DAO, decentralized autonomous organization, DAO, right? all the rage these days ontology contributors data traders and ontology consumers crowdsources ontologies in natural language and you, and i keep saying ontology you maybe like well, what is ontology isn't that, that that there was a coin called ontology ont is that that the branch of metaphysics dealing with the nature of being a set of concepts and categories in the subject area domain that show their properties and the relations between them what's new about our ontology is that it created automatically from large data sets all right you following don't fall behind some key things to note here is that they have cross-chain dreams here right smart contracts for synthesis 1v1 will be deployed on the solana blockchain sol to conserve gas costs with future deployments on other chains to follow expected revenue source for them is fivefold mining fee paid by ai companies trading fees from the canon exchange Creator royalties from all canons minted. DeFi related service fees and its treasury at Genesis. The treasury will fund software development, business development, marketing, and more. The Synesis Foundation will fund an ethics board as well as grants. The utility and economics of the dual token system is gamified to recruit, retain, and reward. Ooh, that's nice alliteration. That's right there. Let's go. Recruit, retain, reward. You know, I can feel I can see we're just like in line. We're all like recruits right here, you know, at attention and uh you know, they're just drilling that into our brain and, you know, we just hit them with the, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So I think there's a lot of fun stuff at play. We've got a token deployed on a blockchain with cheap fees that you can stake and earn 30% rewards. We have them building play to earn games. They're focusing on AI and data sets and being more number driven as opposed to like, hey, we're a meme coin. We got this game where we have a dog and it jumps. Don't get me wrong. I like dogs that jump. But I also like a little more tech heavy projects that have hopefully a, a use case, right? And so I like their focus on the project generating revenue because a project that doesn't make any money dies eventually. It's just kind of obvious. Everything costs money. People don't want to work for free and so forth. Integrating NFTs, play to earn games and their own token on, in my opinion, the most up and coming blockchain right now, right? I think it's a good recipe. I'm not shilling it. I'm not endorsing it or anything like that. But I, I am interested. And I'm excited to see where this can go. Just like I'm excited to see where that finger can go. Because I better go to that mouse and get it clicking on that subscribe button. Hit the thumbs up. I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks so much for watching. We upload daily here on the Vice Queen YouTube channel. So, yeah. Uh, tomorrow. See you there. Goodbye. Please be advised. There are scammers impersonating us on multiple platforms. 
I don't want your money, I just want you to smash that subscribe button. Everything in this video is for entertainment purposes only. That means it's not financial advice.